When training for a sport, an activity, or a special event, it's very important that you condition your body so that you get the strength in all angles of motion. It's also very important to warm up the body properly as well as have a proper cool down and stretch. So I'm going to show you a great dynamic pre-warm-up workout that you can do prior to a long run or a heavy workout. We're going to start out with pinwheel lunges. You're going to step forward into a deep lunge, touch down towards the floor, keeping your spine nice and strong, step back up. Step out to the side for a lateral lunge, bringing your nose, your knee, and your toe in line, and then reverse lunge, and then a curtsy lunge, so you step along to the side of the body. Again, we step to the front, a lateral lunge to the side, a reverse lunge, and then a curtsy. From a front view on the other leg, we step to the front, lateral lunge to the side, nose on top of knee, reverse lunge behind you, and then a curtsy lunge. Once more, forward lunge, lateral lunge, reverse lunge, and a curtsy lunge. That'll help loosen up the hips in all planes of motion. Next, we'll take it into hip circles. So you're gonna balance on one leg, and you're gonna circle the hip all the way around. You wanna keep the knees slightly bent so that you keep proper balance, making sure that you hit every angle of motion. Reverse. Trying to get the knee up and around just to loosen up your hips. Especially if you're doing long distance runs, you want to make sure that you're training the hip not only to move in a linear fashion, but also to move in all other angles. So reverse it again. And then next, we'll take it into an inchworm. So you're going to step out, you're going to roll down, walk your hands out, one push up, keep your legs straight as you walk them back in. Roll back up, and then you'll continue that. Step back out, walk, push up, straight legs back in. And then I like to reverse it. So you'll roll back down, step the legs out into plank, one push up, walk your hands in, and roll back up. One last time, you roll down, walk your feet back straight, push up, walk your hands back in, and then roll your body back up. Next, we'll take it into straight leg kicks. Going to the sides, you're gonna take your leg, swing it across, trying to hit to the opposite hand. You can also take these into a straight leg motion right in front of you, keeping the toes flexed up to the ceiling. And then we'll go into toe touches. So you reach down, touch towards the floor, keep your chest lifted, keep your eyes on something to balance. You can also do these type of movements moving forward and back or stationary in place. Last but not least, a very, very important exercise that you can do is you'll hold on to some type of object to keep your balance for leg swings. You just want your leg to swing forward and back so it moves and loosens up your hip joint. Same leg, you'll start to curl it under to get that running kick back behind you. And then you'll take it to the side sweeping across the body. And then you'll change sides. And then the same thing, kicking forward and back. And then add your hamstring curl. And these are a few dynamic pre-warm-up stretches that you can do to warm up your body, loosen it up, and get you prepared for your run or your workout.